In every racial cleansing, there is some incident that sparks the racial cleansing. In Irwin, Tennessee, it was the supposed crimes of Tom Devert. What we know about Tom Devert is, is pretty sketchy. Thomas Devert was born in Kentucky in 1876. In 1914, he married Sally Price in Yancey County, North Carolina. During his time in Irwin, Thomas worked with a local brick mason. He was well regarded in the community and had credit at a few of the stores in town. There's this classic face-off between a, quotes, black perpetrator and the white community. In this case, it's unclear exactly what took place in Irwin, but it all rested on Tom Devert attacking this young white girl. 15-year-old Georgia Lee Collins was one of six children from George Collins and Fanny Webb. Her father worked as a blacksmith in a railroad shop in Irwin. So the, as the story was told by the newspapers at the time, Dever jumps out of some bushes, attacks this girl, and as he's choking her into insensibility, she screams and four white men confront Devert. He drags the girl, carries the girl, runs off as he's fording the river in town. He's shot and killed, and the girl is either drowned in the water or is dead before she actually hits the water. On the face of it, the story didn't make a lot of sense. First off, Dever choking this girl and her screaming at the same time is a physical impossibility. It just wouldn't happen. If the four unnamed white men attempted to rescue her, jumped out of, you know, heard her and ran to the, the scene, how is it that Devert would be able to run off carrying this girl and somehow elude the people that were chasing him? Again, it just doesn't make a lot of sense. Years later, the historian in Irwin paints another picture of exactly what took place, which makes a lot more sense. Devert is gambling with four white men, and they have some sort of argument. The story goes that Devert won in the gambling. The men wanted their money back. Devert didn't want to give it back. Devert ran, runs off. He's being chased. He sees Collins, uses her as a hostage, a shield. One of the white men shoots Devert and, and kills him. That is a more cohesive story. Whether, in fact, that's actually what took place, we'll never know. When they dragged Devert's body from where he'd been killed near the river, they dragged it into town and they built a funeral pyre and set it on, uh, set it afire. And they rounded up the entire black community, men, women, children, and forced them to watch as they cremated Devert's body. And then they issued the ultimatum, you must get out. It could have been a lot worse because the mob at that point, according to my research, the mob was threatening to burn down the black community, just burn them out. And at that point, and it's every once in a while, you have someone step forward and sort of do the right thing or show some sign of bravery to stand up to the mob. In this case, it was the most unlikely of human beings, a guy named Feta Place. He was the general manager of the railroad in, in the town. He was there when Devert's body was burned. When he hears that they're going to burn out the black community, he stands up and tells them, no, they should not do this. And so thanks to him, that at least was prevented. But the end result was all the blacks were driven out of, of Irwin. Census data shows in 1910, there were 133 black and mulatto individuals living in Unicoi County. Two years after the Irwin expulsion, there were only two black residents recorded in the entire county. Ernest Dickert and Jim Matheny, a janitor and cook for the railroad respectively. It's similar from racial cleansing to racial cleansing to racial cleansing. In the white community, this was a very changeable thing. When 
the absolute shame and horror of what took place sets in, then the whites construct a whole different story. Well, you know, there was a fight and the blacks decided they didn't like to live here anymore and they wandered off. In the black community, the memory of being driven out is a searing one. The country was like a checkerboard for the black community of places where you could go, places you never even went through. And Irwin became one of those places that you never went through.